welcome everybody to another video on this channel. And guys, I know I've been slacking a little bit, but I've really been trying to get some good content on the main channel. Um, today you're actually going to see some cut content from the video, as you saw in the description above. That's probably why you clicked on this video. And anyway guys, uh, I really, a lot of the stuff that appears on the main channel does get cut, like some of the stuff you're going to see. And sometimes it's not just crap content, it's actually just kind of stuff that I really wanted to put in there, but when push came to shove, it just didn't make it, obviously. Um, so I don't know if I'll continue to do these videos. We'll kind of see how this one does, because I know this channel is is uh, far less popular than my main one. But uh, that being said, one thing before we jump into that content is if any of you have seen Kingdom, uh, there's one... I mean, I enjoyed it more than the others, but one quick thing I have to say, there's one thing that really is a sore spot for me, and that is how they portrayed this guy. And really, in my mind, that's not even really Beast Wars Megatron that's in the show, because he is so far removed, because every interpretation of this guy, comic book, the main cartoon in which he first, you know, showed up, they've all been consistent and kept true to what the core ideal of Beast Wars Megatron is. Not so much what he was specifically in the Beast Wars cartoon, but the core identity and evergreen characteristics of this guy. Now only you will stand in the way of my ultimate conquest. Red Trap Max! None of that vermin, no. For now, I shall crush you like a rat in a trap. And FJ DeSanto just went off the rails. Megatron, let me help you. You are injured, but I am here. Uh. And like, he's gonna be a drooling idiot of a fanboy instead of the maniacal genius that was inspired to take Megatron's name because he wasn't a guy about to have a mental breakdown and while he did admire the Generation 1 Megatron, he wasn't a just fanboy that... Oh, don't even get me started on the voice. Anyway, sorry I had to throw that in there. I've been thinking about making a video on the main channel going into the details about how they just, that's that's a fake, it's a phony, it's not really Beast Wars Megatron in the kingdom because that is so far removed. Oh, that voice is the worst. I mean, you obviously can't get David K, but whatever. Anyway, guys, sorry, I know you came here to look at that video in the title, not hearing rant about how they assassinated the ideal of what Megatron is. It's just Santo's fault. We'll just leave it there. Anyway, without a further ado, guys, let's get into it. Oh my goodness. This thing may not be called Studio Series, but trust me, it essentially is. And, you know, as we get further along, you'll see that. And that's why this whole thing is homaging this scene from the movie, which looks somewhat close to one of the scenes. But other than that, guys... And I mean, to be honest guys, the figure is still very dumpy. I mean, you can see how big he is compared to Aimless over here. When we think about this Sharkticon, is when this set was re announced, they hadn't released, you know, to the public that they had a bigger, better, badder Sharkticon. Which, I mean, if, if you're a fan of the Sharkticons, you probably want to go for that one. The only reason they released this one is that whenever he is in beast mode, he fits within scale of this set. It's mediocre figure, if that. Shocktagons! Execute them! And so here is our boy, Kranich, standing on the Quintesson dive board, or I guess technically Plank of Death, since it drops out from underneath him. Guys, essentially what you see here is what you get. I mean, his sole purpose in this entire diorama is to stand right there and look like he's about to get chomped. But if you're kind of wondering how small he is, if we just drop in Misfire behind him, you can see, like, literally Misfire, uh, that, that's really how it, he's smaller than your average Target Master. Him and Kranix, they're a lot like Wheelie, uh, except Wheelie has a lot more posability 
which is saying something considering how flow, you know, as we'll see with like Alicon and and the bailiff and the and the judge is yes, they did release those pieces, but it always kind of felt like maybe it was just a little bit lackluster. And I think that's because originally they were intended to all come out together. Okay, just free your mind for a second and in the comments below tell me if you if you follow along or if you think this is just kind of crazy. But what if this is not actually supposed to be the judge himself transformed into a jail cell? But due to the you know fact that it is a transformer, they you know, like maybe this is supposed to represent two distinct things, two separate things. Like while it's like this, it is a jail cell, but the judge himself is off over here doing his own thing, looking like he, how he normally does, um, you know, and vice versa. Like when he's the judge, obviously like the jail cells over here off screen. Do you think that's just kind of like nuts? Because I gotta be honest, him turning into the jail cell doesn't make a ton of logical sense. And I'm not even sure if this will make it to the video or not, but the one thing that I noticed about the individual release of the Quintesson, I guess his chair was green, so it is just kind of an odd little choice that for the, the box set they did change it to gray. I mean, I think it works better overall tying in with other base modes like we were talking about, even though it is a little bit sketch. But again, just random side note. So if you guys can see over here on the edge of the diorama, um, the one thing that I noticed is the styling is very similar to the little diorama that comes with the movie uh, Studio Series Grimlock. Now, this is a little more gray, this is a little bit more blue, but if you guys can see, this kind of forms the edge or the rim of that pit that the Dinobots rescued uh, cup and hot rod from and even though the colors don't match I wonder because like slag will have one too and I'm assuming the rest of the Dinobots So I wonder if like together if it'll like form the overall like You know like that pit I was just talking about which would be kind of interesting So uh, anyway guys if it doesn't happen, that's fine, but it's just something that I did notice So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that shark to cut content and, I'm sorry, that's a terrible pun. But anyway, guys, like I said, we'll see how this video does. Some of those things that I brought out, like the Quintesson Judge being, representing two distinct different things, not be, which like, totally inverts the idea of Transformers because they're supposed to be two things in one, and the toy technically could be flipping the idea 180. I know it's kind of crazy, but like I said, in that little cut clip, if you, you know, tell me down below if you think that's actually what it could be doing. Um, anyway, it is just an idea. But aside from that, guys, like I said, with this sort of video, we'll kind of see um, how it does on our secondary channel. Um, and in conclusion, guys, if all you have ever seen is Transformers Kingdom, if that's the only area you have seen Megatron in, Please do yourself a favor, disregard that, and watch Beast Wars because it's clearly superior. Anyway guys, enough of my ranting continued after the video, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time guys, we'll see you in another video.